Well, hello, Pisces. Welcome to your month of May of 2024 spiritual advice reading. I'm Josie Kay, your spiritual cheerleader, and uh, this is the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marchetti. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Pisces needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice for the month of May of 2024. All right, so we're starting off May uh, with a Pisces who is definitely connecting with other people, people via community, society, social media, technology. Some Pisces are thinking about a new direction of sorts and spirit saying in the first half of May. We are going to bring signs and synchronicities regarding the direction you should go towards next. Some Pisces may be thinking about meeting up and connecting with other people in a new direction or a different direction. Yeah, in the relationship sector, we have the Stork's energy. So this is about giving birth to a project idea or two. Uh, this is about connecting with others regarding a new direction where there could be a, uh, an offer of greater money or pay. Now, in the creative aspects position, we have the fox energy. So we have someone here who is not being completely truthful or honest. There's this aha moment in the area of relationship that someone here has been connecting via community, society, social media, technology, and they haven't been completely truthful. Now, in the actions position, we have this beautiful magical golden bridge. So spirit saying... Um, Take action to go forward uh, into the direction of what you are giving birth to. Du uh, a new direction where you connect, can connect with like-minded people. People via community, society, social media, technology. In the emotional aspects position, we have this beautiful uh, tower card. And in this deck, that represents a business or organization. So I am feeling an energy of a Pisces who is... Uh, connecting with other people, who is uh, creating projects and ideas and are sharing them with others regarding some form of business plan or idea. And they're thinking about a new direction. Uh, eventually, by the end of May, this Pisces is going to be uh, traveling forward into the direction of a project idea or business situation. But for some reason, we have the fox in the center of this. Now, I do see that the fox is looking over at this bridge. So what is happening for many in the month of May is opportunities are developing, right? People are starting to gossip about your successes when it comes to business for some. And then there's this sneaking away from the opportunity, right? Oh my gosh, I created for the, this successful outcome for myself, but now I am fearing that which has unfolded for me. Yeah, so here's the anxiety of the mice in the subconscious position above the business card. All right, so yeah, I'm definitely feeling like there's a Pisces here who's uh, afraid of what is unfolding, uh, but it's a beautiful thing here in relation to another or others. Uh, it is time indeed to go into the direction of others uh, because people are going to be talking about your successes. All right, so in the day-to-day -day aspects position, beautiful. You guys, Pisces, you are headed down a path into the direction of this beautiful sun energy, a path of great happiness, a path of feeling like a kid again. And that's the direction spirit's trying to guide you is to connect with other people, to share your projects and ideas so that spirit can guide you forward into the direction of this happiness, stepping into the spotlight for some in the month of May. Now in the inner strengths position, we have the beautiful Lily energy. So there is wisdom coming your way, Pisces, via community, society, social media, technology, like-minded people, where spirit is saying eventually you're going to take action to travel forward uh, into the direction of greater money and abundance. So in the inner strengths position with the Lily card, Lily's card, spirit is saying we're giving you the strength to await this wisdom that will unfold here. So watch for the signs regarding the direction by which you're meant to go towards next. Okay, so in a three-card summary, we've got the tree, we've got the beautiful star, and the meeting card. 
So when it comes to commitments, partnerships, contracts, spirits saying ground yourself in maybe the first couple weeks of May Pisces, because eventually there's going to come this aha moment with this rainbow. Okay, I saw this waiting card earlier, so they're giving Pisces spirits, giving Pisces the strength to kind of wait patiently because eventually there's going to come communication with a specific person. Now I'm noticing the 12 card here and the 12 card there, both with the birds and the owls. Communication with a specific person is going to bring energy of money. In some cases, this could be a Pisces connecting with another Pisces, but basically there's a message here from Spirit to look closely because eventually, and they're talking about the signs, Spirit's really guiding the collective Pisces into the direction of some form of communication or paperwork, right? Here's that aha moment, and then this new beginning where there's a lot of passion and excitement. So as you continue to do what you're doing from within the home, at home, working from the home in some cases, uh, there is going to be wish fulfillment. Uh, the cutting away from the whole waiting process, right? Because of the beautiful flower energy. Offers opportunity, kind words, messages, positive feedback. Uh, then you can cut away, or spirit saying, cut away from shying away from that which you have created for yourself. Uh, in some cases, there are going to be soulmate type connections, a connection that ebbs and flows, that feels as though it is meant to be. So research, research, research in the first half of May, uh, how far you've come, the things you have worked towards, because it's about time to start the next chapter of your life. Look at that. So the four leaf clover energy represents uh, a path that is blessed and is meant to be. And it's being served up with the beautiful anchor. So stability and security and a blessed path ahead is what is meant to be. Yeah, so they're confirming a lot of fear here with the snake energy, a lot of confusion. But Spirit's saying you've been praying for this and we've been listening with the wishing well energy. We are guiding you into the direction of a leadership position, of uh, maybe even connecting with uh, caring, loving, giving, nurturing, motherly type energy. But I feel like there is support coming towards this Pisces from family and or friends. Wow. In some cases, there is a divinely timed connection with a passionate masculine, right? Someone who's very passionate about the work that they do or about what you are creating for yourself yeah so spirit's going to replace the energies of burden with some clarity here and they're saying have hope uh, because eventually the wisdom will come <clears throat> hope regarding a uh, child children situation tied to the past uh, hope regarding a new beginning with the child card so yeah, uh, Spirit is saying that uh, there will be meetings and negotiations, maybe uh, communications from home and then eventually traveling at a distance here. And remember, Spirit's going to be bringing you signs about the direction you should go as you connect with other people regarding a business or organization. So they're saying, spirit saying that the maze energies of confusion, which way do I go? Am I making a mistake in the death card? This whole way of thinking is coming to an end. Spirit is saying that those who have used the dog energy to continue to devote yourself to forward movement, there is going to open a doorway of sorts by which spirit is guiding you towards. So take a chance. Don't sweep away from the direction spirit is trying to guide you. You are not stuck or trapped. Uh, there's going to come someone who's either at a distance um, or um, freedom from maybe a stuck situation connection. There could be someone that you have not yet met in relation to a business or organization. And of course, when that wisdom comes regarding communication with another or others, there's going to be this nudge to take action to go forward. But there is going to be a little bit of anxiety. So remain grounded. Commitments, partnerships, contracts are on their way. I feel like I should go into the Tarot of Dreams deck here. By Lee Burstyn. So 
So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for the collective Pisces in the month of May of 2024. Okay. So, we're starting off the bat, right off the bat with you guys. Okay, here you are in your element. You have grown and evolved emotionally. Again, some of you Pisces, you may be connecting with another water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like yourself, or you may be thinking about this at the beginning of May. Connecting with others via community, society, social media, technology. Ah, thinking about the direction that Spirit's trying to guide you. See, Spirit's trying to guide the collective Pisces into the direction of the beautiful Nine of Pentacles. A path of great financial abundance, stability, strong independent energy. So in the relationship sector, here comes good news regarding money in the relationship sector. So we have a project idea or two, something being born or a greater position of pay, greater money coming your way leading you to recognize that you are financially stable and secure, I'm hearing, finally, because of a kind offer. Now, in the creative aspects position, I think closer to around the third week of May, we have a Pisces who's recognizing that uh, three trips, three conversations, three projects, ideas, uh, three weeks, uh, there is finally this awareness that your proverbial ship has come in. I almost feel like it's this way. It's like, oh, here it comes and I'm afraid to go into the direction of this money offer. But Spirit saying, fear not. For this beautiful, magical golden bridge is bridging you into the direction of the Ten of Cups. Great emotional fulfillment. Happy family type energy. That's what... Uh, is uh, spirit is trying to guide you towards so look at this we have unexpected the unexpected in the emotional aspects position is going to be really good here uh, we have a tower and the tower uh, in this deck this is a quick and unexpected uh, realization via a business or organization has come your way regarding a new direction because of the things that you've been working towards projects and ideas are bringing in good news regarding money and it's going to feel like your ship has come in where you can now travel into the direction of some form of happily ever after uh, beyond wish fulfillment uh, great happiness and now the awareness of success so spirit is saying to the collective pisces we are giving you a gift from the universe in the form of the ace of swords a path of victory because you have continued to apply your intellect uh, it's but the ace of swords is a difficult new path because it's a double-edged sword right i am ready to move into the direction of this success but i may have to cut away from uh, a location or uh, people who uh, should not be trusted people who don't serve my purpose okay so there's a little bit of anxiety about this success but i mean spirit's saying we're guiding you into the direction of this happily ever after great emotional fulfillment look at that ten of cups in the day-to-day -day, i'm being pentacles in the day-to-day -day aspects position uh, so shining like the sun feeling like a kid again recognizing a light at the end of the tunnel that i have worked hard to get here and i have finally seen my ship come in i'm stepping into the pot spotlight i'm feeling like a kid again because of a beautiful offer from someone who is kind and trustworthy um, so in the inner strengths position, oh my, it's definitely time for a new path, like we've talked about for many in this number eight year of 2024. Spirit is saying we are giving you the strength to hang in there until this wisdom arrives. And what it's coming in the form of is the Ace of Cups. We're giving you the strength to step into this new path of overflowing peace, joy, and happiness. 
So an offer from, or this is just you, you're ready for it, right? You've grown, you've evolved, you're ready uh, to step into a new path of overflowing peace, joy, and happiness, to travel into the direction of great emotional fulfillment because of an unexpected offer from a business or organization. A little bit anxious because of this victory, uh, but an aha moment nonetheless, that this is good news regarding money. Uh, that uh, your ship has come in, even though others around you maybe are envious, jealous, or uh, were not to be trusted. It's not going to matter now because you're feeling the happiness of the sun. You're recognizing that you're going from zero to ten when it comes to emotional fulfillment. And that day to day, your abundance has grown. Grown to the point where you're feeling very stable and secure. Wow. All right, so in a three-card summary, we have got the Hermit, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, so we have a Pisces here who is set using the Queen of Wands energy to set to meet goals in a very exciting way. And once she accomplishes these things, she continues to set and meet more goals. Uh, when she walks into a room, she is seen. And so Spirit saying, wait patiently uh, for things to develop, right? That wisdom is on its way. Trust in the signs that Spirit is bringing you. Because some Pisces are sitting in this Five of Swords energy, feeling a little bit conflicted as to when this communication is going to come. So we have a lot of strength here. The strength to not sit up and worry and fret at night with the Nine of Swords. Uh, to trust that eventually things are going to speed up here. And there could be a project, idea, offer, opportunity or two that show up here by the 17th of May. So follow your intuition like Spirit saying with the beautiful compass energy for we are guiding you into the direction of this happiness and financial stability. We are helping you with the major arcana of the judgment card to eventually make the right decisions. Uh, you're going to go from feeling like you didn't have enough money or things of the material into the direction of this beautiful palace of wands right uh, a beautiful outcome in the area of business home and family so yeah some may have felt stuck or trapped in a situation where there is either earth energy virgo taurus capricorn but i'm feeling more so someone who is a caregiver provider uh, but may have uh, just you felt a little stuck and like someone else was uh, paying for everything and that you weren't succeeding but remember, the Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination. She could break free at any point. The glass is cracked. She just needs to work her way out of that. Trust and have faith in the first half of May. Pisces and Spirit's giving you the major arcana of the Hanging Man to just wait until the Knight of Coins shows up, okay? The Knight of Coins is slow-moving energy, but it is indeed a blessing from the universe, see? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor when it comes to the palace of swords a business or organization and then there's going to be wish fulfillment so here's this wish fulfillment coming true and then there's that anxiety here with the mice uh, I'm, I'm i'm conflicted about what action steps i should take now that this good news has arrived which doorway which path should i go towards yeah uh, unexpected action may be called for. Uh, quick thoughts may come to mind here closer to maybe the third or fourth week of May. But Spirit's offering up this beautiful Palace of Cups saying, uh, go with the flow. All your efforts are going to lead you to this beautiful energy of celebration, of peace, and contentment. So there may be a little bit of indecision about this Ace of Swords. What is the truth? Should I or shouldn't I? Uh, but Spirit is saying, you know, uh, you're not stuck. Um, I feel like in some cases there could be a temptation coming in here. But yeah, I just keep seeing this. I'm not stuck or trapped in a situation that I feel is unhealthy. Now, this is making me think about this fox here. So maybe someone is uh, being a little bit uh, dishonest, untruthful, um, even mean or, yeah. But it's not going to matter, right? Because what you are creating in the creative aspects position of this circle sp spread is the three of wands, is the realization that your efforts have paid off. 
and your ship has come in, that you're happy and you're successful. So Spirit's just saying, wait patiently for eventually this doorway is going to open and then you can pack up all of your money, your things of the material and move forward. Yep, there's a lot of excitement here uh, about what decisions you need to make and eventually the realization that things have come full circle here for you. You worked hard uh, to get to this point and now you can step into and through the portal of this world card into the direction of the fool spirit saying we're helping you to manifest forward movement this may involve some form of travel but spirits helping you to overcome negative people places circumstances and to eventually go into the direction of success so take time to rest because eventually justice is going to turn in your favor the worries and fears regarding money are going to fade away there's going to be a lot of playful energy. And yeah, if someone causes heartache, it's not going to matter. With the Eight of Cups energy as a minor arcana, I'm just going to walk away from who or what doesn't serve me, who or what has caused heartache in my life. And instead, I'm going to move forward in this beautiful and balanced direction towards the third ace in this reading. So Spirit's offering up the Major Arcana, the Temperance Angel, and is saying continue through the month of May to set and meet goals in a very emotionally balanced way for eventually there is going to come an offer, an opportunity that is going to lead you down a path that is blessed in the area of money. Um, and there's the Fool. We're helping you to manifest this ship that is coming in. Remember, remain grounded because eventually there's going to come a commitment partnership contract uh, that is blessed. Wait for it. Someone's going to see your worth. All right, so I'm going to close this reading with the Archangel Michael Sword of Light deck. Please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for the collective Pisces in the month of May of 2024. So all you have to do is be the real you. With the number six, we have harmony and victory. The card says your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Do not let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self because your ship is about to come in prioritize self-care at this time put yourself first get a massage take a sea salt bath uh, and when the opportunity comes spirit is saying do not settle for less look how excited she is embrace this magical moment for spirit saying you are in the perfect space pisces for manifesting miracles allow your wishes to be fulfilled at this time in the month of may so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the spring special, which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, I want to say a super big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.